Okay, we're going to be continuing creating our king chess piece. I'm going to highlight this little sphere here. And what I want to do with this sphere is I want to duplicate him and move the duplication to the right. And we want the duplication to be about halfway over the edge, about right there. Okay. Um, not quite halfway, but I'll, uh, it's a lot. Okay. We're going to get that. Okay, we're going to click the middle again, and we're going to do another duplication. And we'll move that duplication to the left. And it'll be just off the edge. There we go. Now, we want to um, press Shift, and we want to click all three spheres. Once those are chosen, we're going to do a duplication and a 60-degree rotation of those. And it will repeat. Nice. All right. Now we're going to select everything, and we're going to group it together. And there we go. Beautiful. That was great. All right. Now it is time to put a little, I'm oh, sorry, we're going to put a little dome on here. So let's choose this little sphere here, this half sphere. I'm going to bring it in. And we're going to raise it up to 44 off the ground. 44. There we go. All right. Now let's highlight both these pieces together, and we're going to align them. So we'll go to alignment, and click here, and there. And now they're aligned. Now, it is time to go for a cross. So we're going to go to um, Google. And we're going to type in cross and the word silhouette. Cross silhouette. And we're going to click images. And the one that we want is this one right here. This is beautiful. So right click it. And then um, open on new and a new to new tab. And then we're going to right click again. And we're going to save this image as. And you can see I've already done it. Cross and save. And yes, I want to replace it. Okay, there he is. All right, we can close these. We don't need these anymore. And what we actually need is to go to uh, FMI STEM Academy um, for student resources. And we're going to go to convert to SVG. And we're going to drop this little file right here. To have him convert it. And it's ready. So let's start. And it's working on it. Changing it to SVG. Oh, it's ready, I think. There it is. Okay. And you can see I've already done it before. Yes, I want to replace it. And there it is, my SVG cross. So going back here, we're going to import it. So import. We're going to drop the file right in here. Now, and we're going to change the scale to 10. Make things a lot easier on um, Tinkercad. Oh, there it is right there. Uh, let's pull it out so you guys can see it. Okay, so what we want to do with the cross here is that we want to make the height of the cross 4 millimeters. So height instead of 10 millimeters, make it 4 millimeters. Then we want to make a rotation to stand it up. So this is going to be a 90 degree rotation. Then we're going to click the letter D on the keyboard. That's going to bring him up. Very good. All right. Now, let's raise this cross to about 48 millimeters. Let's go back up here. So 48. 48. And then we're going to highlight everything. We'll bring these both together. So we're going to highlight them together. And then we're going to... There we go. And now, let us group them, now that we've aligned them. And we have made the king. Let's see. Probably can change the color a little bit. Beautiful. 